it's been such a great guideline and has been so transformative in my blood work and my nutrients i've never had blood work as good as i do now in pregnancy i want to show you guys our little mini snack haul from aldi it's really not all about the diet it's about feeling like that sense of responsibility mentally feeling like i'm doing the best that i could potentially do in this pregnancy to be healthy Good morning, welcome to today's vlog. I've been wanting to chat about the brewer's diet for this entire pregnancy. I've been obsessed with having an outline for how to eat. And the reason why it's so important to me is because in my first pregnancy with Lila, I didn't know how I should have been fueling my body. And that not only couldn't sustain the pregnancy, I went into early labor with her. Um, and I do feel like it's a big uh, part of that was because of my nutrition. I then couldn't sustain breastfeeding afterwards. And it's really vulnerable to talk about because it's kind of hard to realize like what we can be actually doing for ourselves and when we're not nourishing ourselves, like how that affects our children. And it really does. It's It's really hard to kind of take that in. And it took me a long time to understand that that played a key role. Um, so when I got pregnant this time around, nutrition has been number one. It's been my first priority and I feel so good because of it. But really, I didn't know where to start. I decided to really try out the brewer's diet and see how it made me feel in this pregnancy. And if you first take a look at the brewer's diet, it looks like a lot of food. <laughs> like I first looked at it and was wondering how I would ever eat that much in one day. And I may not hit every single group and eat as many calories as is on that diet, but it's a perfect guideline for me to know how much of everything I really should be eating. For me, it's been such a great guideline and has been so transformative in my blood work, in my nutrients. I've never had blood work as good as I do now in pregnancy. And I also have never felt this healthy before. So I'm just grateful that I've known about it and that I could really incorporate that into this pregnancy. And I just wanna share how simple it can be. I'm currently nine months, so my meals have gotten a little bit smaller. I can't really fit as much. We got a big baby in here. But I still have like a general outline of what I try to follow every day. Congratulations if you are newly pregnant. Let's get started with the day. I've had two meals today. First was like my pre-breakfast. It was a bagel with butter. And that was just something really easy that I would take on the road with me to work. It's great because it has like eight grams of protein, which has been one of my biggest and hardest challenges. Pregnant or not, I just don't like meat. Like I have been definitely craving it more in this pregnancy but um that part because of like cooking it is always a struggle for me definitely want to get that protein in right in the morning my actual breakfast i had a little bit later i just had two eggs with a slice of cheese on um multi-grain bread i can't with her in her hood right now i don't always have two eggs a day i feel like that's a lot for me um so that's like the other part of this brewer's diet is like just being intuitive about like what feels too much for you and you know how your health currently is so yeah i don't always do that but i did do that today but of course the fully in eggs is really good to have so i do have eggs probably like four days a week it's around 1 30 lila just went yeah, down for a nap jared's being really loud on stream love that for us i want to show you guys our little mini snack haul from aldi um normally if i am gonna snack throughout the day i try to make it like fresh food or nuts so that'll look like a fruit, like a vitamin C fruit with um, some nuts to like help the iron absorb. And my iron levels have been really good. So I know that that's definitely working. Um, I also have like a granola bar. Like I had a granola bar a little while ago and um, that's been, yeah, like a go-to if I'm just like on the road. For my snack right now, normally I'd eat lunch around now at 1.30, but 
because I had that granola bar, I'm not like super hungry. So I'm just gonna have a little piece of fruit right now and then I'll have like a later lunch. These mangoes have been really good. Um, normally I'll get like clementines or like a vitamin C fruit, like kiwi or strawberries. But I got these today because we already have strawberries and um, they're just, they're really good right now. I got some bananas just because that's like a staple. I'll have like banana toast, um, like banana peanut butter toasts on some mornings. And then I got celery because this is really easy to have with like almond butter or peanut butter. I've been really liking cashews. They are, I think 10% of your iron intake. So we always go for some cashews. I'll make trail mix with like almonds and dried cranberries and like pretzels and M&Ms. Tonight we're gonna have salad with our dinner. So I grab that and then um, we always have to have eggs. later and I've been thinking about what this brewer's diet has done for me um, not only do I love the physical results but it's really the mental results that have made me feel so confident and good and of course confirming it through blood work and seeing it on paper has been a huge reward but just mentally taking the responsibility to own my health own my pregnancy understand what is needed has been transformative in my confidence in this pregnancy and it's leading through birth and into postpartum it's like i know different levels of nourishment now that my body needs in this time i think that women and birthing people don't get a lot of information most of the time from their provider and especially if a provider is like more of that assembly line technocratic medicalized feel it's more about trying to control this pregnancy this baby not so much setting up the mom to flourish so there there doesn't need to be that control if that makes sense so it's really important for us as women and as birthing people to take this into our own hands know more do more research get in touch with local wise women midwives doulas um, anyone that really works in the birth field or even look things up on her own that kind of hits all categories like nourishment and rest and sleep and food and just you know all of these things that we don't naturally just think about when we're pregnant at least i didn't i was able to do this for myself and and be led here but then take the power into my own hands and feel really confident and good about it and i hope that that makes sense i feel like i just rambled a bit but i the moral of the story is that the brewer's diet has done much more for me than just be an outline for my physical health we're getting deep <laughs> it went it went deeper than that and i didn't expect that to happen so yeah if you are interested i'm gonna leave a little outline at the end of this video of what my typical um like day-to-day -day diet looks like um not like that anybody needs to follow that but just like a an idea if this video was like a little bit choppy because i didn't show every snack that i had so i'm gonna leave that and i'll leave some resources down below to check out but I hope that this was informational. I hope that you were able to take bits and pieces that could be helpful for you in your pregnancy or if you're a doula for your clients, whoever gets to this video. Um, but I just thank you guys so much for being here and definitely hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and stay tuned for future videos by turning notifications on. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.